hello guys welcome again in my channel today we are learn how to assign number in matter master so first of all we are going to spro transaction code then we uh, will go to img reference in that case we check uh, like how to assign any material number range so we'll check okay after that img we go with the logistic journal okay so click on the arrow button and then go to material master after the material master go to basic setting after the basic setting this is the material type in the material type there is the three field uh, this is the field for material type creation okay so last one is the defined number range for each material type click on there and wait for next screen if we see uh, the screen will be open and this is the object name the object name is the mat material nr this is the material nr is the object name for the material if we remember that object name then we can go with the same path with uh, there's the one t code okay so this is the snro if we uh, like know uh, this is the object name uh, my object name is this one then we can go with the snro and click on that one press the enter okay and provide your uh, object name in that object name okay so this is the i provide and press enter display if i see you if you able to see this is the material and our display and uh, click on that one okay okay i think we i have not authorization for that uh, uh, see okay so there this is the scenario we can see this is the process also sn ro transaction code okay so we'll close that screen and go with again in that screen okay so sometimes this is the like transaction code authorization not given but path authorization we have so that's why we go with the path and click on the display now if you see this is the number range one two three uh, this is the like uh, number range starting and this is the from to two from to two it means like any number range uh, which number to start this is the number range start with one zero 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 and ending number is like this is the number range one zero 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 nine zero zero okay so this is the only uh, this number range given okay what is the nr status nr status it means how much uh, number you like how many number use for that one okay so if uh, we see in the nine one zero 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 nine it is only consume nine number for that one screen okay so next one is the there is the two uh, like external and internal if we want to internal number range internal uh, we don't click on that one okay so it internal system automatically fetch based on we have given like this is the internal number range we have given this number to this range okay so this is the internal and what is the external external also there's the uh, like if we click on that one external tab so it that means there's the two like zero two and zero three this is the external number range zero two it means we can provide anything for the a a one a a to z z it means i can provide anything like uh, when we are creating material sumit sk i can provide anything okay alpha numeric so system automatically allow and if we want like there is the specified range in that range we want to external number range like uh, first time when i create a number then i can provide this one number sometime i want to like 1005 1008 okay so we can jump but we don't like use uh, 2001 system don't allow system only allow this range okay so but we need to provide there the one number in that scenario okay so now i'll go back and if we want to assign number range if uh, then we can click on that one this is the display option we can click on display then we can only see okay like i'll show you this is the system show okay but we want to assign any number range 
then we can go in that one okay and check this is the non assign element there is the two uh, number like a metal type it is not assign any number range okay other than uh, we can check like this is the uh, 0 3 0 2 that is the group we have checked in last time okay so this is uh, so what we like check uh, i have a one number series we can directly filter other uh, than we can check in the manually okay uh, this is the given z1 z2 pipeline okay so we'll go zr0 z yeah this is the last time we have created right now uh, if we want to see in which uh, number and it is assigned we can check first okay because this material type is created with copy so that time system automatically copy all number range also for that one okay so if we see yeah 01 this is the number range assigned okay so first i click on back and display i want like uh, use the 06 okay so this is the 06 group i want to assign then i'll go again and click on down down page and this is the my number range z uh, like my metal type click on that one and then click on this one we can provide f7 okay so i click on that one now we can see like this is the 06 okay so this is 06 there is the two to this one we can click on that one number range this one okay uh, if you want to see uh, now system automatically remove here in the 01 uh, yeah this is now right now system not show there and 06 uh, system show there okay so this is the assigned uh, yeah last time we have created z001 now we can go click on yeah yeah number range is assigned okay so this is the scenario if you want to check the history like who has changed or uh, something and we can click on that one Yeah, this is the like number range uh, system given like this is id used and in which time uh, which number range which t code used and what what the changes done like this is the old number range this is new number uh, sorry this is the old and this is the new changes okay so this is the scenario we can check now i'll go back click on back Thank you so much for watching.